Welcome back to part two of transforming my room under a hundred dollars. That's right, we're on a budget. You heard it, under a hundred dollars. Prepped everything, that took a while. Now I'm actually gonna, <laughs> I'm actually gonna paint the ceiling first. It's a baby. Ceiling paint in flat, flat white. What did I do? Because I don't really have experience with painting. Went on YouTube and I searched how to paint your ceiling. Idaho painter. He was really informative in showing me how to paint the ceiling. To hide imperfections as you paint, you should actually go across, then you won't see like uneven lines as you walk in through. All right, I'm getting ready. Gotta stay protected, you know. All right, space buns unite. Let's These are just a dollar at the grocery store. Dollar succulents. Ay, señorita, diga bonita, que necesita amor. Su sonrisita, tan exquisita, solo me invita y voy, voy, voy. Diga cosita, porque me agita, usted tiene ese ton. Si solicita. Pero yo también disparo Baby, tú quieres a este bicho raro Dame hasta las 11 para entrar en calor Tú eres una estrella pero yo soy director Vamos mamacita que ya soy tu seguidor Pero de los miles yo soy el mejor My goal with this project was to kind of redo my room for around $100, under $100, something like that. Wanted to show y'all the receipts, but you know, first, being an accountant, like Jen from accounting, accounting is hard. Accounting glasses, yeah. my calculator, $15 for paint samples, $20 for the paint kit that I got off Amazon, and then $3 for the extension pole because I'm short and it was a great help. $30 for interior paint, $11 for ceiling paint, $3 for succulents, $15 for two plants plus a pot, $4 for fabric because I wanted to be sustainable and it was also affordable. And that brings me to my total of $100. 
and one dollars so a little bit above the hundred dollar budget that i was going for but i'll live i'll survive yay i did manage to transform and make over my room for around a hundred dollars a budget affordable paint room transformation reveal change makeover <laughs> all of the keywords youtube yes hi bruce it's ready? Okay, let's go. So the room tour begins with the guardian Bruce Lee. First thing that you'll see is Manta Ray is kind of still there, but they are a little bit more muted and you know, it's not crumpling, so it's great. Comfy corner. And then of course, Club Lib is what my friends and I used to call the library in college. Buy a new suitcase, suitcase, why do I keep saying suitcase? Got, got a new bookcase because the other one was falling apart and that was contribution made by my mother. Books. Books. I love these fake plants that um, we got to kind of just adorn everything and bring a little bit of like nature while you're reading. So yeah, so I, I really like how it all came together and then here's some, here's another fake plant. I just feel like it was more of like an earthy but like colorful kind of collection. Have a lot of old art pieces that I've done in the past so with like paint nights. This is actually the skyline of Nashville and fun fact, this is the Batman building. That's what we call it because it has the ears but it's really just the building for like the headquarters of AT&T. Another plant, it's a real one. It's <laughs> I haven't named my plants yet, but you know, I could use you guys' help in naming plants. So, all right, so we got we got this one. That's a peace lily plant. I don't know. I don't know what, what we're feeling for names. But yeah, anyways, comment below and yeah, I will take your names into consideration. I'd love to hear from y'all. This might be my favorite section of the room because it is my bed. I do like naps and sleep so i have loved waking up and just like opening my eyes and then being able to see this really nice like pop of green and it, I, I love the way that it like cascaded and it's fake was i extra did i get purple sheets to match the purple room why yes why yes i am i like being able to have a desk like right here and just like getting up and doing my thing whenever i need to this is this is a little stuffed animal i sleep with it's with like the gray lilac vibes of the room so good job you match actually no you enhance a lot of this so these are actually old photographs that I took in college in a darkroom photography class, which I love, and I'll explain that in a minute. And this was another paint night with friends in college. So I've collected these posters. This one was gifted to me. I really love birds and I really love the metallic, so I wanted it to be like the centerpiece of my gallery wall. I felt like this is what really added personality and color. I'm really proud of these photographs slash photograms, and I just wanted to explain a little bit about what difference between 
find photographs like using a camera. But photograms is using special photo paper, which all of these are special photo paper, exposing it to like different lights and different elements to create different shapes. This one is um, like actually the outline of my hand. And then I actually put some saran wrap for texture. This one was actually a wine bottle that I just like exposed really quickly. So it gave this really cool like streaky meteor kind of look. And then this was actually just a rock. <laughs> well, if you look very closely, it's actually two koi fish. Printed that off on a coloring page that you could just find on the internet. And then that's what I exposed first. So then you could actually see the scales. And then I took two wine glasses and then put saran wrap in them or plastic wrap. So it creates this like fabric effect, I guess. This was just a log that I set on fire. I totally did not think to bring water with me, so I was like furiously trying to like stamp out the, <laughs> the log. This one, I think this was like my most favorite one. It is actually cotton, which creates this kind of like smoke looking effect. I'm really proud that I could just like decorate my room using stuff that I've made. Sarah did that. Okay, real talk, I wanted to film this when I had really good lighting from the window, so I still haven't had a chance to actually reholster this chair. I'm really happy with my desk. Yeah, I mean, it's it's an old desk that I've had for over 10 years now, ever since childhood, and it's got everything I need. I have this really cute little boba light. This is Chinese paper cut, so it's an art where they literally take tissue paper and then they, they cut it with like X-Acto knives to make these really beautiful patterns, you know? So I'm ready to study. Fun fact, I'm actually starting online classes for fashion, so stay tuned for that. This is where I feel smart and productive. My closet! I got a lot of shoes. Yeah, I'm working on not buying more stuff this year. I got my my last little dresser. Uh, no, um, bookcase. We got one, two, three, four, four bookcases in this room. So it really is club lib. Yes, I have mementos and gifts and knickknacks from friends from over the years. I like how everything has its place now and is really intentional. It's more grown up and it's a lot more fitting to I feel where I am now, mentally, physically, spiritually. I was a little unsure of how the process was going to go since this is the first time that I painted. I'm really glad that I was able to do it on a budget and it was really affordable. Yeah, I'm glad that I was able to redecorate, make over, transform this room for around a hundred dollars. And thank you guys for being here with me. And I hope that you also enjoy the room as well since I'll be filming a lot more content here. This is Sarah, is Sarah, is Sarah. And I will see you next time. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? <laughs> so I got this bare ceiling interior series cereal. Gotta warm up my face a little bit. Oh my gosh, my face can do so much. Oh, my big face. Yeah.